you do everyone? I'm Gandalf James and this is our Halloween special of trailer class. Today we are carving a pumpkin. First thing you want to do with your pumpkin is when you get it from the store you're going to want to wash it and dry it. And also while you're at the store you may want to hammer on it. Make sure it sounds hollow inside, kind of like this guy. Then once you get your pumpkin ready to go, you're going to have a side that faces. Try to find the ugly side. The side you're not going to want to use. This side, definitely. So the first thing you're going to want to do now you got your nice pumpkin washed and dry, you're going to want to put a little face on it. So what we're going to do here is even it out. Eek. 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 I'm going to give them little triangles here. We're not doing anything fancy with this pumpkin here because I'm not a very good carver. And then we go for the mouth. And we're just going to go like that. Give them a tooth. For some reason, pumpkins have bad dental hygiene. It must be from Europe or something like that. And go, mm -hmm. Well, there, give them a nice wide smile. Then we're doing the bottom jaw right here. And oh, we'll lift it up a little bit for you. There we are. He has four teeth here of various sizes due to enormous tooth decay, apparently. And this is what the pumpkin's going to look like. Not bad for drawing it upside down. Next part, you're going to want to find a nice, good serrated knife. Very hard. That's why I'm using a leather leatherman. You can either get something from the store. You can also uh, use a drywall cutter. I heard those work very well. But I'm using a leatherman. The blade's strong. It's sharp and it's sturdy. What you don't want to use is your ordinary kitchen knife. It's flimsy. It's not sharp, and it's probably cheap and going to break and cut you. So the next thing you're going to want to do with this guy is we're going to want to. Cut a hole in the top of its head. So we take our knife right here, and you know you just want to get all around, around the the subscum, you know, around the area here, because I can't say the word circumference, and just go in there and just start wiggling it around. These pumpkins are. Now comes the crazy part. Now that we got the hole carved in the top of his head, we lift it up, and here comes his brains. We're going to take the top of the head, just throw it in your little bucket right over here. We're going to take all the guts out of this pumpkin here. You can get a good eye on all these guts that's going inside here. <clears throat> it always freaked me out as a kid when we had to do pumpkin carving. You know, the lady at church or my mom would be like, just stick your hands in there. I was like, that's gross. It still freaks me out today. So we're using one of my favorite tools, a slotted spoon. Go around and start giving all the stuff out. And while you're doing it, you can sing a little song like Great Big Gobs of Griefy Grimy Goat Butts, Giddy Bitty Booty Feet, Mutilated Monkey Meat. And something, something, I forgot my spoon. I don't remember that song, but it kind of reminds me of what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I'm just taking my spoon and just gathering all that stuff into one side. <sighs> Look at all that. And we're saving these seeds. Ooh, I'm making a mess with the seeds. Because we'll be using these seeds to toast later on to make a nice little snack. Okay. We got all the guts all carved out of here. And we got the lid right here. We're just going to set it aside and we're going to save all these little tasty guys for later. Well, we're ready for the fun part here. Our jack lantern is ready for carving. So we got our trusty little knife right over here. And we're going to start from top to bottom, working with the eyes. And Thank you. 
Here we are. Spitting image of myself right here of our jack-o'-lantern. And the next part we would want to do is make sure it lights. What I have here is a scented candle I found over at my buddy's house in his bathroom. I decided to take it from him because I didn't have a candle. So what we do is we light it up right here. Nice little flame. Put it inside your pumpkin. Take the lid. Shut it up. And then turn off the lights. Ooh. Happy Halloween, everyone. We're back inside from the garage. And what we have is our pumpkin gut seeds right here. A colander right here, and what we're going to do is dump the seeds in said colander. Knock off all the, get them all in there. And you're going to want to wash the goop off of them. That's why we're using the colander here. So I'll just go on all the way through. You use your fingers to grab a little bit of the guts that you see, because they come out really easily. Yeah. I guess you could save that for a pie or something like that, but we're not doing that today. We're just getting all the guts off for all our little seeds to be separated so we can go on to the next step. Yep, yep. I don't want to use a strainer here because this stuff will glog your pipes up really fierce. So you just take your little strainer, let it all drain out, and you dispose, dispose of it properly in the trash can. Yep. Now that we got all the goop off, our next step is to take a little plate here with a paper towel and get all our seeds lying out. We want to spread them out, maybe get any other little goops that are just lying there because uh, some pumpkins are goopier than others. We found a nice goopy one. And from here on out, you're going to want these little babies to dry for about at least an hour, maybe overnight. <clears throat> depending on how you want to do it. And that way you can get more of the goop off of them, they'll dry out, and they'll be ready for oiling, seasoning, and cooking. Well, we let our seeds dry for about two hours now. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is take a little bit of oil, dump it in on them, like so. You're gonna to have to, since pumpkins vary, you're gonna to have to go by using your best judgment, and you're going to use seasoning salt. If you don't want seasoning salt, you can use a, uh, you know, like a taco seasoning, a chili seasoning, Italian, or just plain old salt, maybe a squirt of lemon. Uh, but I like seasoning salt because it makes it taste like popcorn. Also, I like uh, using barbecue uh, seasoning too. That's also pretty good. And you just put that on liberal, liberally a lot on there. Take a spoon, stir it all around while we're doing that. You don't want to try to make sure they all get coated rather evenly. Look at that. So they all get kind of get this fun. Another reason why I like to season and salt, we'll put some more on there, is that it's kind of orange and it goes in with the Halloween theme of you know, orange. It's a very popular color with the trees and the pumpkins and the costumes. Next, you get your pan right here. You can use, this is a, the pizza pan. We saw it as a lid last week. Now it is a pan for actual baking this week. Um, you spray it all down with a, you know, just your normal vegetable oil spray. You can also dab it with aqua cooking oil. This will help it cook more evenly. Then you take your seeds. I'm going to just drop them down on this plate right here, this pan. And it all drip down. Got to get all that saucy gooiness on it. And spread them around evenly. Look how they're, that oil is going to make them cook kind of like popcorn. That's where we're going. I'll give them a nice crispy flavor taste to it, crunch, you just whack them all out. They don't all have to be separated, you know, you just want to be spaced out. <clears throat> they can all get together. And then you're ready to put them in the oven. That looks good to me. Should look good to you then. 
And we have the oven right over here. You're gonna want it at 375 degrees. And we're gonna put these guys in for about 15, 20 minutes until it gets to the consistency that you like or that I like. They'll be crisp to the touch or to the taste. And take it, drop it all in there, and set your timer. We'll start with 15 minutes. If we need more time, we'll go for it. Five. All right, we're ready to go. Our timer's gone off, and our they should be coming out. Open up the oven. Always wear an oven mitt. Ah, perfect. This is exactly what you're looking for. <clears throat> They're all nice and crisp, hot to the touch, and I'll do some muck banging over here. Yeah, that crunch, just like popcorn. Perfect. Happy Halloween, everyone. Let's go to the garage and see what's going on over there. All right, it's the end of our show today, and we got a very special garage door reveal for you all. see we are already set for Halloween I found these on one of my neighbors doorstep and uh, now when you get to Halloween you generally want to do the traditional decorations nice looking little triangle eyes and all that right and I, sometimes you don't have time for that so I'm going to show you how to do a little decorating with your jack-o-lanterns when you don't have a lot of time Generally speaking, you got plenty of tools if you live in a mobile park uh, trailer area, whatever you call it. And uh, generally, you can find power tools just laying around. I mean, my neighbor never secures his truck. So you can borrow a few and get to work on your jack o' lantern. Now, in different ways, you can, uh, oh, you know, add a few holes, get that, get that stuff going, you know. Now, if uh, you don't have time, you can also bust out eyes with a good old claw hammer. You can get uh, the claw side, and that works the teeth pretty good. You see, you see how that works? Now, of course, uh, you can also use kitchen implements to add a little flavor to your jack o' lantern. However, if you don't like the Occidental route, you can go the Oriental route. Usually every trailer is well equipped with various motorboards by Dutch. We also have this right here, which I believe is called the Bunker's Claw. Kick them teenagers off something fierce. Well, that has been trailer class. Halloween edition. Special Halloween decorator. I'm your friend, Cousin Dave. Y'all have a happy, happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank you.